day this has been. Lovely clear blue skies. But bar gum, wasn't that a storm to remember? And you may have seen that in a previous video. I'll just pop it on the, the screen now. So I was planning to do so much today. Uh, I did a few jobs uh, to keep Mrs K happy, the new hearth, done all that. And uh, I cut all the barrels, got them all um, washed and cleaned, uh, ready to go. And then uh, it went really black. And uh, yeah, we didn't get uh, much more done. But these blue barrels are similar to the other ones. They've got a grey lining on the inside, but uh, it doesn't matter what they look like, they're free. Probably took me an hour to uh, prep these uh, four, just so in the future I can add some more to these because uh, that was right down. There must be at least another foot of water in there from that half an hour, hour of rain. And uh, it's just come off this, uh, this one, uh, lean to that's covering the uh, the leaf mold uh, there are wasps still in that end one i moved some cardboard and they attacked me three stings uh, last wednesday uh, one of the stings on the front of my shoulder it took four days before it uh, settled down i take regular histamines for the uh, the pollen i'm glad i did it didn't uh, didn't put me uh, out of work anyway. I was going to pick some of the fruits today, but uh, it isn't always best to uh, pick the fruit when uh, they're wet. Excuse me. Keep sampling them. That isn't a problem. So let's get on with another one of the jobs. I uh, need to get this uh, this trimmed. I'm not exactly clothed correctly. Trimmer that we uh, we had from uh, was it uh, High Checo? Still doing really well. It may be in the description uh, below. Another good job done. But I definitely need to change how I barrier off um, this part of my allotment. A few seasons ago, this was uh, a slab path. Uh, the slabs and uh, I did spend uh, quite a bit of time in getting these put in but uh, you can see uh, what sort of a difference it makes uh, nice and easy to uh, maintain but it's a bit difficult here I've got that sheep net in some chicken net in and then I've got the uh, pond net in that stops the birds getting in and uh, makes it difficult to, to sort out so I think that's uh, a little job I need to get sorted so I'll be keeping an eye out uh, for some slabs again the uh, the shed's been flooded out and that cup was empty but obviously it's just the uh, where the joint is where we extended the shed we use the polycarbonate it collects a lot more uh, water. Don't look at the clock, that's wrong. But uh, it doesn't normally flood like this. All it does, I've got that there to collect the odd drip on the normal rainfall. The IBC's full again. You might be able to hear it dribbling in, the overflow. We'll just uh, make sure we don't lose any water. The amount of water that we collect off the poly, poly tunnel is uh, huge. 
with his uh, 6,800 litres worth of uh, barrels here and to increase it by 6 inches, 8 inches we must have had some rain I bet the uh, beetroot loved it and the rest of uh, my crops and I'm uh, really pleased with the uh, Mongolian giant still growing really well again successional sowing of spring onions and there's the uh, original ones I'll be taking a few of those with me today well actually in fact I ought to be taking the ones that uh, I said <laughs> would be ready before uh, the uh, the beans the long beans and uh, Bill and Bowles successional sowing Bill and Bowles allotments uh, their pongos are uh, doing really well and the uh, ladybirds uh, are still about even though they might have had to take shelter an hour ago filling that up just ensures uh, that uh, this one doesn't overflow we've dropped the level down that much so this used to all be open to the elements <laughs> it's a little bit tight down here but it's uh, ideal for storing a few things and you might just see where the uh, the guttering uh, from this half of the shed uh, goes in and, uh, I might have to investigate to see if we've got uh, blockage in the uh, the guttering more than uh, anything else. The second part of the shed uh, runs into there, and uh, I've got the siphoning on at the moment to uh, take some more out. Uh, that was previously because it was just getting a little bit low and I didn't want that one behind me overflowing. But I'm not gonna be short of water this year. What a strange summer we're having. Record temperatures here in the UK, high temperatures uh, in June. Uh, will this be the wettest uh, July? Uh, it's uh, the 9th of July, 2023. We're in the polytunnel now and I've got a siphoning into there so this is always uh, nice and warm always check your barrels guys especially for ladybirds because they will float for a long time it's Bill and Fowl's uh, Minnesota melon looks like it's been uh, bashed off the, uh, the sides there, there's a lot of water coming Everything else looks okay. Uh, there's Jason. That's the Kurobi from uh, Graham uh, Barrett. And uh, a little bit further down, we've got Colleen. So that's uh, Jason and Colleen from Clive's Conundrum Garden. And uh, I did notice that uh, Jason, just to uh, the middle there, uh, was getting some sort of uh, growth, erection. Uh, these pups should get as big as what uh, you can see there to get me uh, a nice giant uh, for Malvern, but I'm happy with how they're looking, uh, even like they are just have to remember I got to water in here where I haven't got to water outside these are the uh, Hendrix snow pea from Nick the gardener again I mentioned in all these channels won't be long before uh, they're ready and uh, these are very productive I don't like to let them get uh, too big uh, because once this peas start forming so the uh, grubs uh, start to develop as well and it's uh, not very nice for the uh, grub to be see the inside of my mouth excuse me again the pongos and uh, 
this secret raffle will be coming up as and when I get time. That's empty my mouth. I'll be doing a, a dedicated video, uh, but uh, by all means, uh, find the four codes from June's uh, videos. Secret raffle uh, will be in the title and in the description there'll be a code. Four videos, four codes. I'll give you a raffle ticket. And we can include the pongos. So basically, the first person from the flutter drawer will get the choice of whatever we've got on offer. Be a chain mini chainsaw, some LED lights, etc. But you might just want pongos, It'll be your choice. Now, we all net our cages to keep the butterflies out, but don't forget, guys, if the leaves are touching the sides, the butterflies will just sit on the netting and uh, they might even be able to manage to get one or two eggs through. So just be wary of that. Now we've got a volunteer in some of the potatoes and I've just noticed <laughs> we've got another volunteer. But I've never let my courgettes, zucchinis, go to sea. So I don't know how these have uh, got in. I'm sure that's uh, a courgette. Bonus the seed head on the uh, red onions that went to seed. I'm sure the uh, bubble bees I've seen them working really hard to uh, pollinate all those, so we should have some uh, some uh, red onion seeds to plant. I think I'm just going to plant do all, all my onions will be seed uh, sets aren't any good. Some of the lettuce is a little bit bitter now. And uh, the uh, experiment with the carrot save seed, it went to seed last year, so I thought, well, I'll save it, see what happens. It ain't too bad, guys. We're gonna get something. Look at these red iceberg, that's nice. Mrs. K will be happy with that, and uh, some more radish there gone to seed. Again, I'll leave some. Like these sparkler three, these sparkler three must be three years old. The seed, so uh, going to be one of my favourites. So I'll save the seed. I'll eat the pods as well when they form, and then the rest uh, will let dry out. I oh, spy with my little eye. These have gone a bit too far for me. I like them a bit smaller because I can't quite get them into uh, my lunchbox. But we take them off. Encourage uh, the rest to grow. The first earlies now are all dying back, so when they do, I'll be pulling all the horns out. Pulling them out, not cutting them off, just in case there's any blight there and uh, we'll be stacking them in a corner and we'll use them as and when we want them. So I plan to do lots of things, lots of harvesting, but everything's wet through, absolutely wet through. So there, the green courgette zucchini, that's the uh, lovely size, excellent for the uh, lunchbox. I've prioritised the peas over the pongos, uh, they'll be fine. Uh, these uh, golden gourmet shallots, uh, I paid a pound for all of these, there was three packets. Uh, 12 sets in a packet and uh, look guys they're all splitting there's lots and lots of uh, that one being the best of uh, little shallots there for uh, pickling so is it really worth planting them over the winter Let's just wait until uh, well we planted those at the uh, end of May the 30th See how they do. Maybe something different to try to beat the beat the uh, British weather. As we said earlier, the, uh, the these will love uh, that drop of rain. They'll plump up nicely. 
and hopefully I'll get them better than these. These are on on the large on the larger size than I'd like because we wanted these smaller beets. So if we can make a jar full out of these, a nice small baby beets, uh, they'll be absolutely ideal. Uh, they uh, even though they were large, uh, we put them in the steamer for 50 minutes and put them into uh, cold water, de-skinned them. And I'll put a little bit of water, about a third of water, and the rest uh, pickling vinegar. And that's it, job done. We can have those uh, as soon as they're ready. It's nice to have your own pickled onions and beetroot over Christmas. There's all the uh, sprouts. Aren't plants marvellous? They collect water straight to the roots, the soles. Uh, this is the uh, broccoli uh, green magic, and uh, I've got to keep an eye on these because uh, they'll uh, they will blow. Bit difficult to weed in here. It's a bit difficult to uh, stand in here. But it's certainly helping the uh, the brassicas this year. Again, here you can see how brassicas uh, collect uh, their own uh, water. Just channels it down to their uh, the stems. And we managed to get the uh, carrots sorted. Several successional sowings here, and uh, they look a picture of health in this uh, netted cage. Well, it wasn't what I expected, but uh, not to worry. Thumbs up, thumbs down for the uh, interaction. Please leave me a comment, join in with the comments, give the comments a thumbs up. And why not consider subscribing to see what else I get up to. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now.